Hey guys, welcome back to the another episode of basic WordPress plugin development. Today's episode is all about taxonomy and custom taxonomy. So let's begin. Now, what is a taxonomy? In the simplest sense, WordPress taxonomies are just a way to group related posts together. That's it. Though it's a big word, but it's not that complicated. So let's go into the backend and let's find out the default taxonomies that WordPress provides us. So if you hover over the posts, you're gonna see two links at the bottom, categories and tags. Both are actually the taxonomies. So we can create more taxonomies like this and also we can add taxonomies in the custom post type as well. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can add a custom taxonomy in a custom post. Alright guys, so let's open the code editor and let's go into the INC folder and let's create another folder there and name it taxonomies and inside this folder we are gonna create a file and name it movie taxonomy. If you can remember in the previous tutorial we have created a custom post type and named it as movie so today we are gonna add custom taxonomy in that custom post type so let's begin let's open the PHP tag and let's create a function and let's name it my plugin movie taxonomy and in order to create a taxonomy or custom taxonomy we need to use register taxonomy function that WordPress provides us so before using it let's go into the documentation and see what documentation do you have so let's head over into the browser and search for register taxonomy Here it is. Let's go into the register taxonomy. Now, as you can see, it's gonna take some parameters. So, the first one is the name of the taxonomy, and the second one is the post type in where you want to assign those taxonomy, and third one is the you know array that gonna have some more options like labeling kind of options if you scroll it down you're gonna get some more description and I also recommend it to read, read it through to gain or gather more knowledge as you can see everything has been explained pretty well I hope you can understand or you will understand by reading this documentation now let's go back into the code editor and I'm gonna copy and paste the labels array so that I do not need to write the whole thing as you can see this is almost similar when we created a custom post type we also need to add some labelings so this array you know contains all sorts of labelings that gonna need for this custom post custom taxonomies and the next one is the arguments array so let's do the same here you can see we do have some keys we have the labels and this this is the variable that we have you know defined here and we are showing uh, uh, show ui true and also show admin column to true query for true show in rest true we want to you know show it in the rest as well and our rewrite slug is you know the slug that we are gonna change so let's you know change the dummy names so let's say because our you know custom post type name is movie so let's keep it movie cat that means movie categories and let's change if we do need something to change uh, I think we are pretty good let's change our text domain name and 
it is my plugin now the next thing is calling the function so register taxonomy and it's gonna take three parameters as we described earlier so let's name the first one and let's name the first one is movie cat and the second one actually in which posts we want to put this taxonomy so let's it's an array if that means you can add same you know same taxonomy into the multiple post types so this time we are going to use only movie so let's put an array here and you need to match up with the custom post type name you cannot misspell it or otherwise it's not gonna work and the next one is the array that we have defined here so let's copy that out and paste here all right now the next step is to you know hook this thing with a hook so again similarly we want to run this function when wordpress you know initialize at its beginning so it is the init hook and then we gonna copy the function name and put it here so that is it now let's add some comment as well uh, let's say movie taxonomy now the next thing is to you know add this file into my plugin.php as well so let's do the same thing let's say include taxonomies record once my plugin path and inc taxonomies and movie taxonomy dot php so hopefully it's gonna add the post type as uh, the custom taxonomy in the custom post type so let's head over into the admin area and hit refresh and as you can see when we hover over into the movies the categories taxonomy has been added now let's click on the categories and add some category let's say action let's say horror fantasy so these are the taxonomies that we have created so let's go into the all movies and click on joker and let's uh, you know find the categories whether it is added or not here you can see in the right side we have the categories that we need we can also add category from here so let's add you know biography and let's hit add new category and it is added so now if we update it's gonna update as you can see post updated so this is how you can you know add custom taxonomies in the custom post type and you can use it easily so that's all for this video guys hope you enjoyed it see you in the next video